the corporate retreat. For Jenna, being selected to attend Hansen Corp's exclusive annual retreat was a mark of distinction. She was only six months into her role in the marketing department, and already her contributions had been noticed. The retreat, held at a remote mountain resort, was known for its team-building activities, luxurious amenities, and potential for career advancement. Upon arrival, Jenna was taken by the resort's beauty, pristine lakes, pine forests, and a grand mansion that housed the employees. The mansion, she was told, was once owned by the company's founder, Leonard Hansen, a self-made millionaire who had transformed Hansen Corp from a small startup into an empire. The retreat began well. Jenna bonded with her colleagues, enjoyed the lavish dinners, and felt motivated by the inspirational talks. But as days passed, she noticed oddities. Employees whispered about the west wing of the mansion, which was always locked. No one knew what lay beyond its grand doors, but legends said Leonard Hansen had once resided there. One night, after a few too many glasses of wine, Jenna and her new friend Kara decided to unravel the mystery. With the help of a hairpin, they managed to pick the lock. The west wing seemed frozen in time, with Victorian decor, creaky floors, and a strange coldness in the air. As they explored, Jenna stumbled upon a diary, its pages yellowed with age. It was Leonard's. The entries detailed the early days of Hansen Corp, its struggles, and how Leonard had yearned for success. But the last few entries took a dark turn. They spoke of a pact, an ancient ritual that promised immense power and success in exchange for a sacrifice every decade. The last entry was dated exactly 10 years ago, the night before Leonard disappeared, a disappearance that had always been considered voluntary, given the immense wealth and empire he'd left behind. Horrified, Jenna and Kara looked at each other. The company's exponential success, the elite status of this retreat, the whispers about employees who attended the retreat but never returned to work, all the pieces started fitting together. Their fears were confirmed when they discovered a room with 10 chairs, each marked with a date, the last being today's. In the center was an intricate symbol drawn on the floor. Realization dawned. The retreat wasn't just for career advancement. It was a facade for the company's dark ritual, ensuring its success for another decade. Jenna and Kara were potential sacrifices. The two fled the West Wing, heart pounding. They needed to warn others and escape. But as they entered the main hall, they found themselves surrounded by the company's top executives, including the CEO, their eyes devoid of emotion. Jenna's voice trembled as she confronted them, revealing their discovery. To her shock, the CEO didn't deny it. Instead, he spoke of the necessity of sacrifices for the greater good, how Hansen Corp provided employment to thousands, and how its success impacted the economy. The duo was trapped, but Jenna's determination hadn't waned. She remembered a legend she'd read about the ritual, that it could be broken by the pure intention of saving another. Holding Kara's hand, Jenna started reciting a counter-ritual she'd once read about, focusing all her energy on saving everyone present. The room started to shake, the symbol in the West Wing began to fade, and one by one, the executives collapsed. When it was over, Jenna and Kara found themselves alone in the mansion. They fled, vowing to expose Hansen Court's dark secret. The news hit the headlines, shaking the corporate world. Investigations were launched, and Hansen Corp crumbled. Jenna and Kara, bound by their harrowing experience, started a consultancy that focused on ethical business practices, ensuring no one else fell prey to the dark side of corporate greed. Their story served as a stark reminder that success built on sinister foundations is ephemeral, and true power lies in unity, truth, and the unwavering will to do the right thing.